Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? How are we doing today? I hope you're excited because today we're opening up our second hobby box of 2022-2023 Series 1. I just got back from the Sport Card Expo, picked up two of these hobby boxes to get this redemption program. I got two of these promo packs from the Sport Card Expo. So uh, I'm going to be opening up one at the end of the opening today and then one in the next opening of Series 1. The box price for these at the Expo was $125 Canadian, including taxes. Very solid price considering most stores have them around 140. You can tell they have to rip into it to give you the packs because you can't leave with them sealed if you're getting the promo packs. I've never opened up the promo packs before, so hopefully you can get something good in there. I know you can pull autos and stuff out of there, so that would be neat. We'll have some more videos coming out regarding the expo and stuff that I did, including a trade up challenge I, I did at the expo. Uh, back to the normal schedule now. So every three days I will be posting. Next video will go out Wednesday. So yeah, stay tuned for that. If you enjoy what you see here, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. Drop a like on the video, really helps me out a lot. It helps me grow the channel. And comment down below if you were at the Sport Card Expo and how you enjoyed your time. And if you got any cards signed or picked up any nice cards, let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, let's get right into this Series 1 Hobby Box. So spoiler alert, if you haven't already checked out our first Hobby Box opening, the release day one of Series 1, uh, did very well, pulled a Matty Beneers and a Rossi Canvas. And I now should have values for some of these as they have been selling on eBay. Let's see what our first card is going to be. What is this? Is this our French? Might be our French right away. Um, yes, it is. going to be a, a French second year of Kirill Vilmilka. He's been off to a good start. For the Coyotes this season. Pack number two. Let's see if we have our first young guys. Nope, this is going to be one of those defensive mechanisms. I'm not a huge fan of these inserts. I think they look kind of neat with the rainbow. Victor Hedman there. But yeah, nothing crazy. Everyone at the Expo seemed to agree that they liked the designs a lot of the 2023 product better than the 2022 see what we got here this looks like a canvas is this a black it looks like we got a black canvas is it a young guns we have a black canvas young guns gonna save it for the end i know some of you don't like that but we hit a black canvas young guns those are unannounced uh what the odds are on those but very tough hit if it's a big name that could be a huge card so we'll save that to the end and let's see what else oh it looks like we got our first young guns here take a look here and see who we got Sharks, who's that going to be? It's almost Bordelow there. First round pick to the San Jose Sharks. I think he was the last of the first round. Does it say on here? No, it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure he's a first round pick. Good upside forward there. I like Bordelow. All right, decent start there to Bordelow. Let's see what we got next. We got a canvas, a normal canvas. This one's going to be Jeremy Swayman, second year canvas there with Linus Allmark. Probably doing their little handshake thing after a win. Oh, it looks like we hit a canvas Young Guns as well. Oh my gosh. Um, we're going to save both of those for last, I guess. It could be a program of excellence. I don't even know. I guess if you hit a black and a normal canvas Young Guns in a single box, that's possible. But yeah, if they're both canvas Young Guns, definitely some big potential here. It looks like we got another Young Guns coming up. It looks like a goaltender. Uh, is that another docile? Nope, that's going to be Peter Kozetkov there, goaltender for the Canes. I think he had to play last year in the playoffs or something when all their goaltenders were down. Okay, goaltender, probably not a whole lot of hobby value, but I'll take it. Got Sam Dreyer. Looks like we have something shiny coming up. Yep, it's going to be our blue Dazzlers. See if we can get another rookie like last time. Dazzlers. Nope, going to be Evgeny Kuznetsov is our blue Dazzlers. Nice design there. See what's next. What is this? Blue. Oh no. It's going to be a rookie retrospective of Alex Newhook there. 14th in goals and tied for 8th and plus minus. Interesting there. See what's next. Looks like we got our, oh, we got a gold defensive mechanism of Victor Hedman. <laughs> I already got the normal defense mechanism of Hedman. Now we got the gold variation. I don't know if there's announced odds on these or not. I'll have to double check. I don't see any odds on the back for the gold parallels of those cards. But if somebody knows, let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate it. 
And this is the official halfway point. Looks like we do get our third young gun here. Let's see who it's going to be. It's going to be Lucas Reichel there. That's a pretty solid one. Probably one of the top 10, if not top five, young guns to get there. First round pick to the Blackhawks, Lucas Reichel. I will definitely take that. All right, well, next we got, what is this? It's like, oh, it's one of those center of attentions. This is going to be Jonathan Taves, center of attention. Okay, come on. It looks like we got our first superstar on roll. It's going to be Jesper Bratt. What a start to the season he has had. I don't know if he's still top five in the league in points or not, but man, the Devils have been on fire. Interesting to see that Nico Heischer's been the guy really picking it up and Jack Hughes has been the one in the shadow, but who knows, Jack Hughes will probably have a good season still. And it looks like we got our fourth Young Guns coming up and it's going to be 94. Who is that? That's going to be Braden Pichel there on the Young Guns for the Las Vegas Golden Knights. I think he's just a depth defenseman. Nothing crazy there. Okay. What is, oh, we got our first portraits. Once, ooh, Connor McDavid, UD portraits. Once again, love the design of the portraits this year. Make sure you stick around. I'm gonna rip open one of those expo packs at the end of this opening once we reveal our young gun canvases. Uh, what's this? Oh, we got a debut dates of Dawson Mercer there. Looks like we got another canvas. I think this is our last canvas. It's going to be Drake Batherson. Looks like we got a fifth young gun coming up here. Let's see who it's going to be. Uh, Blue Jackets. Is that Johnson? Nope. That's going to be Nick Blankenberg there. Another like depth defenseman. Not great one there. Lucas Reichel might be our hit young gun wise out of this box let's see if the canvas young guns can save it there is one left but who knows oh it looks like we did get another canvas card so we got five canvas cards or maybe i miscounted so this canvas card is going to be patrick kane ud canvas maybe the the black canvas doesn't count towards your canvas total maybe that's like the wild card in the hobby box that could be it but let's see what we got here um Oh, it's going to be another debut date. This one's going to be Jonathan Dolan, of course, no longer in the league. Let's see, we've got another superstar on roll here. This one's going to be Elias Lindholm. Looks like our final young guys is coming up here. Let's take a look. Hopefully it's going to be a good name. It's going to be Adam Raska there on the San Jose Sharks. So Lucas Reichel, definitely our young gun hit out of this box. But definitely got some nice names towards my sets. None of these guys I had, so I'm happy about that. Um, we got another portraits here. Going to be Sebastian Ajo wearing the hat there at the All-Star competition. Nice. Looks like... It's going to be another one of these. I really don't like these that much. Defensive mechanism, Thomas Shabbat. So, so far, this box has been okay. Reichel, probably our best card. Everything else, not too great. But let's see if our young canvases can save this. Our first one, start with the normal one here. Come on, let's be a good name. 47. What team is that? Ottawa? That could be good. Who's that? <laughs> That's not good. Mark Kastelik there. Uh, I'm not too familiar with him. Young and Canvas. Not a great one there. Hopefully the black and white one can save this. All right, now time for our black Young and Canvas. Come on, please save this hobby box. Hopefully, I did see the S earlier, so I'm pretty sure it is Young and Canvas. Um, okay, here we go. Come on, this could be huge. 45. That looks like Rangers. That's Schneider. Braden Schneider, black young guns canvas. I will definitely take that. Uh, more of a defensive defense. I'm probably going to have a lot of hobby upside because it's a middle first round pick. Definitely a solid one there. I'm not sure what this would be worth. But yeah, Braden Schneider. It's weird that it's not black and white on the back. Braden Schneider. These look sick. I actually love these cards. Tough pull. Braden Schneider, young gun canvas. I will take it. Eight young gun box. And now let's rip open our expo pack. So I think our first uh, hobby box was definitely better, but we did pull eight young guns out of the second one and we're three 
for two on our Young and Canvases. Three Young and Canvases and two Hobby Boxes. We'll see if the third one has. So we're going to open up one of these Expo Packs now. One of them in the next video I post, opening up Series 1. Not, I really never opened these before, so not really too sure what to expect. But I know you can pull some good stuff out of here. So let's see what this Fall Promo uh, Expo Pack has. Okay. Um... <laughs> So, start, are these all Parkhurst cards? I, I don't know. Parkhurst, Rookie, Alex Newhook, Parkhurst, Connor McDavid. Okay, well, that was really disappointing. I thought these would be a lot better. Uh, some random blue Parkhurst cards. Okay. I thought, <laughs> I've seen those national packs. They might be way better than these. Um, so, yeah, hopefully the second one's better than this because this, uh, not terrific. <laughs> So here's the recap. The Expo Pack, very disappointing. I don't think any of those are worth anything. Uh, some nice random inserts here. The Portraits of McDavid I liked a lot. Gold defensive mechanisms. We did get five canvas cards, so I'm guessing the black canvas doesn't count as one of your canvas cards. We were able to hit eight young guns, so pretty good young gun wise. Reichel being our top guy. Overall, it was a decent box, depending on what the Schneider black young gun canvas goes for. And this young gun canvas, not worth a whole lot, but overall, Solid box. I'm happy with it. I'll take it. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please consider subscribing. We'll be posting some more Expo content as well as another box opening of Series 1. So make sure you stick around for that. Leave a like on the video. It really helps me out a lot. And comment down below if you picked up any Series 1 and how you're liking it so far. I'm liking it a lot. It's a lot of fun to rip after ripping so much Series 2. And yeah, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Have a good one.